Hey guys. All right, so uh, somebody on my social media noticed that I had the new phone. So they said, why don't you do a video for it? So I was like, why not? So uh, over the weekend, I ended up getting the 7 Plus new phone. And this will be the first time since I think the 4S that I've had a phone that wasn't black. Uh, everything else was space gray. This is actually my husband's copy of his phone of the 6S Plus because... Uh, my our 12 year old has my copy but it's basically the same this one belongs to awesome Annie as you can see her there from geeky con a few years ago all right so uh, whew, it was a really long long week uh, basically what we do is starting now because this wasn't something that we normally were, were doing uh, every year we'll end up getting the new phones the previous year's phones will go to our children and then the last two phones that they have like these will get sold uh, that way everybody keeps uh, Apple care I don't particularly like giving the kids phones if they're not um, have some kind of warranty or something on them because uh, they've done really well I think in Darren she's or Endy, she's had a she's had a phone since she was about I think six or seven, and she's never cracked a screen or anything. And they're usually like she's got a case just like this. Uh, she's been really good with them, and so has so has awesome Annie. Uh, this will be the first time that she's ever well actually this will be the first time either of them have had a plus. But um, I think they're gonna they're gonna have fun, especially with things like Minecraft. All right, so. Uh, I'm actually really excited. Uh, this is the first time, as I said, that um, I have a white phone. I ended up getting the rose gold, and my husband got the normal gold. So this is also the first time that our phones don't match. Uh, back for the 4S, I think we both had, I think it was silver at that time. I don't think they had the, the other ones. Um, but we ended up doing the 256 gigabytes. Uh, just for resale values, and so we get them on the next program via AT and T. And an amazing thing about AT and T, if you have AT and T, sign up for the Plenty card because you it's free, it doesn't cost anything, and you get rewards. Um, I've got a whole bunch of Kipling bags that I've gotten from Macy's that I didn't pay anything for because it was all for the rewards. So, what comes in the box? All right, so I'm just gonna use my box. Here's the phone, by the way. I use the clear cases, of course, because uh, I know some, I've, I've shared some of them like that. That's just a piece of paper that I printed out and then recolored and then tossed some tape on it and tossed in the back of there. I, I don't like having the same case constantly. So uh, having a clear case, I can pretty much put whatever I want in it. That's kind of nice because then, I mean, I'm going to keep the phone for a year and... I want to be able to change my pictures in it so it comes out really nice. All right, so this is basically the inside of the box. You got your cube. You got your cube. You got the new headphones. And then you've got the little adapter on the back of it. And then you got your cord. Uh, these I probably won't even use. I, they ha I don't think it's even. Yeah, it's been opened. Okay. So it's been opened. They haven't been used. Uh, this will be the first time that uh, when we go to sell these phones, in two years, the person will get like an entire brand new set of headphones because um, I don't need them, and I will show you why in a minute. But uh, I did try, you know, we tried my husband's, uh, his headphones. You get really nice sound because now it's the the lightning, the lightning jack for the phones. I mean, don't get me wrong, it sounds really nice, but these aren't gummy. These are hard, and they don't fit my ears very well, and it kind of hurts so I won't be using them as for the adapter on the other side I might use them uh, I'm hoping that here within the next few months somebody releases an aux cord uh, that has the lightning port on one side and then the normal audio on the other because we like listening to music in the car and we don't we don't listen to the radio so we have um, we have the iTunes match. It's like twenty four ninety nine a year. So then anything that's on the computer will go onto the cloud, which is really convenient. 
especially when we have like over 5,000 songs. So there's always something there. All right, so why don't I need the jacks and the headphones? Well, that would be because I am officially the brand new owner of some wireless headphones. I love these things. Oh my God, they fold up. They came with a little bag. They're rechargeable because they're Bluetooth. They also come with a cord just in case you need it. They came in this box. These are the Beats Solo 2 Wireless. Um, AT&T was doing a really good deal on these. This is the silver edition, um, or I guess the special edition silver, because uh, now they went to the Solo 3 Wireless, I guess. But um, I've been using these for like the since I got them. They charged really fast. Um, it's automatic pairing now, so once you, on the phone, so once you have these paired, you don't have to like constantly, you know, hit the button and repair them. As soon as you turn them on and it's in range, it automatically paired. Um, I actually was using these with my desktop over there, and I could go from the bedroom almost all the way into the kitchen still listening to music and it was fine. It was clear, no problems. And once you turn these up, and they don't have to be up that far, you can't hear anything around you. So if you're looking for something that um, is gonna drown out all the noise around you, I would definitely grab some of these, because these are amazing. Uh, my uh, Envy is not happy that she doesn't have any. Uh, and then they just go in this cool little bag that came with it. If I can get it back in here now. Whee! I was never one for Bluetooth headphones. I had tried a few probably maybe three or four years ago, and they were really bad, like very staticky and everything. So they've they've really come a long way because this was this was no different than me having them like plugged in. They're really nice. And it comes with a little hanger. You just hang it off your book bag. They fit in my purse. I, I, I think they're, they're slightly bulky, but I mean, I'm constantly carrying books and stuff, so I don't really have to worry about carrying little baby bags. And I do have a smaller, a small-ish bag. Um, I mean, a full hard bag book could fit inside of it, but um, once you get so far, it starts getting like kind of wide and like a brick that you can swing at people. But those things fit in there really nicely. I fit a book in it, an iPad, my phone, my wallet and stuff, so it was fine. Uh, the other thing that I got was uh, my iPad case died the other day. Didn't even notice it. The whole side of it had split. So now I, I am stuck with pink because that's all Walmart had. Uh, the nice thing is they returned my other one with no problems. I didn't even have a receipt for it. It still looked brand new. So I was really excited about that. Really, really sad that I ended up with like this hot pink. This thing is really bright. I guess if it's darkness, I might actually still be able to see this in front of my iPad. Uh, this is the iPad Mini 4. Uh, I've had this uh, from the beginning of this, I think almost the beginning of this year. I actually won this. Uh, I love this thing. Um, I don't use it as much as I should. I actually need to sit down and go through all the crap on here. Uh, this is a lot nicer to read books on. I do have a Kindle Fire 6 inch that um, I had gotten, but the glare on that thing is just horrendous. So I went to that instead. And I really hope you guys can hear me. I have one fan running in here because it's so it's so hot. And I'm kind of like shoved in a little corner over here. So I'm hoping that you guys can hear me well enough. All right, well, let's see. Um, as for my husband's phone, basically the same thing. It's just gold. Uh, same things in the box. You've got your, you know, your Apple stuff and your... Apple stickers and basically just the normal stuff. I'm not going to pull that stuff out because once you open those headphones, they don't want to close again. There goes my emails. All right, so that is basically about it. Um, so for the actual phone, if you have the 6S, all right, so if you have the 6S, Things that have changed. So of course you got iOS 10 and they actually just did an update on it. So now it's what like iOS 10.0.2. Um, it's okay. The weirdest thing about this that of course I mean you guys won't be able to feel it but 
it's I think it's I think it's pronounced hemetrics or haptics 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 it's down there in the bottom I don't know I don't think you guys can see that that is really really bright but it's uh you have the new phone it's under sounds and then it's all the way at the bottom and it's spelled it's like systems system and then H A P T I C S and it's for interactions via like the 3D touch so like if I'm in I'm in my email and I pull down it'll actually like do a clicking feel so it's kind of like really responsive I guess is what it's for uh, of course the let me turn the screen off the this is no longer an actual button it's just force touch and no this is not a dual speaker uh, this one here is actually for um, it's a I think it's pronounced barometer or something like that or barometer it's for like altitudes and stuff um, this phone when we would go to like downtown Disney and the different parks and stuff if the levels changed it was count it was counting it as like I had done a flight of stairs um, and this supposedly it's not supposed to do that it's supposed to give you a better uh, a better reaction and stuff to stairs and stuff like that as well as some other things like dealing with out I guess it just it deals with altitude it's weird I would prefer it to be a speaker but um, I've been I've been watching movies on this I what was I watching yesterday I was watching Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets and um, I'll play this here family forever if they ever knew Dobby was here Ooh, but Dobby had to come. Dobby has to protect Harry Potter. It looks really clear. I mean, I don't think it really looks any different from the other phone. Um, I know that um, most of, like, all the graphics and stuff, I think, are pretty much the same. It's just more along the lines of, um, I think, like, the it uses true color now. And a few other things are different, but like, you know, like the 1080p and the 4K for videos and stuff is all the same. Let's see if I can find Harry Potter on here. Okay, there's the Chamber of Secrets. Okay. So, let's see if this thing's going to work. Okay. Turn up the brightness here. The sound, however, is a lot, a lot better. Lots of Harry Potter. What terrible things? I don't know. Actually, looking at this now. This does look a lot better in the way of like the colors and, and stuff versus the 6S. So, wow. I get, I've never done like a side by side comparison. And Dobby looks like he needs to, he might need my bathroom. But <laughs> my girls, will, they'll sit down. And when we're watching like stupid things, we did it a lot when we were watching Games of Thrones, Game of Thrones a while back ago. Um, they would just like pause the show all of a sudden and see what what types of things that they could pause the show in <laughs> you can find some really interesting things alright so um, I'm trying to get to the same spot on here alright so that's about that's about the same here let's put that in black I don't know it looks slightly sharper and the colors I mean I don't you probably can't tell in there, but, and they look, it looks a little bit better. Just slightly, not much, but a little. Now, I don't know if it's just because of the cases, because this case is a sub case. It's slightly bulkier. This is a lot thinner. Yeah. Um, this does feel a lot heavier. I'm going to, like, take the, take the case off of here. I think this is supposed to be slightly thinner, or not thinner, but slightly lighter. I don't know if it's like, if it's just me, because I'm crazy. I don't know. It's supposed to be lighter. 
I know this case, th this case is a lot thinner. I love this case. Oh, I just realized there's like, there's no, there's no uh, company logo on it. I never noticed that before. Oh wait, no, there it is, haha. -ha. So this is from, I don't even know if I can read that, S, Sonics, S-O-N-I-X, I think is what that says. Um, I did have one that was really thick and it had um, like flex in the back of it, which was gorgeous, but it actually wasn't made for the seven, it was actually made for the six, so it had like the, the headphone jack in it. Then I realized the back of it when I had my hand over it, it had like a chip out of it. It was really bad, but um, I don't know if I really want to, I'm, I'm, I don't know if I want to cover that up. That's so pretty. The rose gold is, is kind of growing on me. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, I'm really, really happy to find out that the waterproofing for this foam is supposed to be able to be in, I think it's a 30 meters or no, five meters. I don't remember. I was watching something on YouTube. Um, that stated how many meters it could be in water for how long. But I don't remember how deep it was. Hmm. Let's see if I can find it on here. But anyway, it's supposed to be able to sit in Okay, there we go. Okay, so three three point three feet of water for up to thirty minutes. All right. So basically, for us, because I don't go swimming with my phone, of course that's not going to happen. But when we go back to Universal next year, it basically means I should be able to keep my phone out when we go ride Blue Toes Water Ride, and I should be able to take video and photos and stuff, and it shouldn't bother it when it gets wet. Uh, will I be doing that? Yes, but it will be in like a waterproof bag. Um, I might just like cut out this section for it, but I do want all of like these holes down here completely covered. Um, and probably the front section too. Uh, the, I think the video that I saw, it was from CNET. They had an issue because they were like physically swimming and everything, um, in a pool with it. This speaker up here stopped working. So I really don't want to take that chance of anything like that happening. And my email is going off on the computer really bad. Oh, goodness gracious. Um, other things that have changed, um, which is really cool, you now, you can probably notice it this way. If you flip up your screen down there, if you press and hold, on the flashlight you actually have three different levels of light now so like here's you got bright light medium light and low light which is really nice like when I get up in the middle of the night and I don't want to turn the light on I want to go check to make sure that my children are covered up and making sure that awesome Annie hasn't rolled out of bed um, and she's curled up on the floor that's happened on more than one occasion uh, you can, you know, put a low light on and, on and you won't mess with people. Um, you know, other things, of course, is you have two separate screens that, of course, you can't see. Um, I don't know. There's, like, a lot of other things that you can do now. Uh, let's see, your mail, you have this, like, little, little circle down here. So you can actually filter your mail for read and unread things which is kind of nice so if, if you don't want to have to deal with stuff that you've already read you don't have to you can delete um, applications you can delete applications that are that were integrated in the phone my husband last night he pulled up his little bottom screen he's like where's my calculator I'm like what and he's like well there's supposed to be four little icons on the bottom but he's only got three and I'm like did you delete it He's like, how, how do you delete the, cal the calculator? And I'm like, because you can do that now. So he gives me his phone, and I go search through the app store for the calculator, and I'm like, lo and behold, he deleted, <laughs> he deleted his calculator. Yeah, it happened. 
I really, really wish that I had like a GoPro or something and I filmed like everywhere that I went because he, we were on the, the time to go get my phone to go pick it up from the Mont Millennia and he's walking and he's got his phone and he's looking down instead of up and he's looking to try and see if he can find his phone at a, at a closer location and uh, he almost runs into this gigantic pillar. It was so funny. So the lady was walking the other way with, with her kids. She's just cr trying so hard not to crack up laughing. I'm like, nope, nope, it's okay. Me, me and the girls were just, we're laughing so hard. I really wish that I could have gotten that on video. Uh, let's see. Uh, if you saw the video on, I posted it to YouTube and all the social sites. Uh, it's of Andy, and she's walking into the wall saying it's time to go to Hogwarts, and then she disappears and comes back. That was filmed on this. Basically, anything now that you see or that you've seen over the weekend has all been on this. Um, I know a really, really grainy, grainy video is on my Instagram and Twitter. And I, I don't think I posted it to the Facebook page. But uh, we were on one of the back roads on 60 down here. And all of a sudden, there, because it's just a little two-lane back road highway, and um, there was a police officer in front of us with their lights going. He's in a truck. So, I mean, you can go like 70 out there, I think is what the speed limit is. Because there's, there's nothing out there except for farms. And uh, we slow down. And we're trying to figure out what's going on. Really, really hoping that we don't have to, like, do a UE and then backtrack for, like, an hour to go a different way. Because by that time, it was almost 1 a.m. We didn't get home until almost 2 but, uh, all of a sudden you see this shadow off the side of the road. It's a cow. It's a, it's, I think it was a Guernsey. It's a Guernsey. Um, they're smaller, but they're still, I mean, they're still a good hefty size. And, uh, he was trying to get it back into its fence that it had come out of and it, it wasn't having it. So we'd go from one side of the road to the other and he'd try to maneuver his truck in and we finally got past it. it. Took about maybe five minutes, but I took a video with this phone in pitch black darkness with that optical zoom that it now. Well, I guess it, that's not part of the optical zoom because that only goes by two. But um, with like that ten times zoom thing, that's really really grainy. Yeah, I didn't think you guys could see that. Oh, I guess you kind of can. So like um, let's turn this around so I can see it here. All right, so. There's the computer. That's just one. Let's see if I can turn down the, the brightness here. I don't think it's going to do much. All right, so there's the computer at the one. I guess you can't do it with that side. Okay. Well, never mind. All right, so there's me. I wonder how everybody else gets, like, really nice videos and stuff where you guys can actually see the the stuff and then turn the thing back down and then there's like two I mean if you just stick with the one and the two it looks really nice if you go past that it starts looking like crap um the forward facing camera I took a picture of my face last night on the way home pitch black darkness outside and of course you have the flash now that came out really nice. I'm, I mean, it was really, really nice. I really can't wait for the portrait, the portrait uh, pictures to pop up. Uh, it's now, I guess, it's just in beta, so it hasn't been released. But um, so far, I really like it. Uh, this scares me because this is so large, and that was so small, and this actually had like a little, like a little extra lip on it. Um, I'm really afraid I'm going to scratch that camera because that's actually sticking out. It doesn't have that little extra lip on it anymore. So I'm really, really afraid that I'm going to scratch that. Uh, I try and set my phone's face down so that like if something falls on it, it doesn't shatter my screen. I've never actually shattered a screen before. I don't want to start now, <laughs> but that is about it. And I'm going to get off here because I've got work to do. I'm really, really fingers crossed. I'm still waiting on my background check for this job. And hopefully I get it. Yay, more books. Of course.
because it's not like I have, you know, six totes of books over there that I haven't read. Yeah. Uh, other things that are going on, um, I'll do another video for that here in a minute. Let me get off of here because, you know, I've wasted 25 minutes of you guys' this time talking about iPhones. If there's anything that you guys need to know about iTunes or iPhones or anything, anything Mac, let me know. Uh, I've helped pretty much almost everybody that I know uh, in once you perform over the phone or live chat and stuff for like Google Hangouts when they've tried to do something. Um, if I can't figure it out, you know, last chance is the Apple, you know, Apple, Apple technical support. Uh, I always try and trouble, troubleshoot as much as I possibly can, but I'm sure I can help you out. I've helped everybody out in the past. So hook me up, ask a question if you need it, just let me know and I will try to help you as best as I can. You just I need to work for the Apple store man that would be awesome that'd be nice all right so I'm gonna get out of here and I will see you guys later